Alright guys, so the new Fortnite season is here and with that comes a lot of changes and in this video today we're going to be taking a look at a change that could actually affect performance quite a bit and that change that I'm talking about is the new performance mode DX12 version so if we have a look at the rendering modes we used to have DirectX 12, DirectX 11 and performance mode and the old performance mode is the legacy performance and it does say here legacy performance is like performance mode but uses direct x11 and this is the performance mode that we all used to use but now they've switched over to a different one and if you look at the performance tab it says performance is a mode that offers significant performance gains by disabling most rendering features to reduce memory usage and lighten the load on cpu and gpu it also uses directx12 so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to compare the old performance mode which uses DirectX 11 to the new DirectX 12 performance mode. And the first thing I thought this morning when I woke up and seen this was this could be drastically better for those of you that have an AMD graphics card and you want the lower fidelity and the better performance from performance mode, but you've had issues with stuttering and bad frame drops, bad 1% lows, like a lot of you would have experienced. And I've experienced that myself when using an AMD card it was very stuttery, the average FPS was indeed lower and overall it felt a lot worse than using even the most entry level NVIDIA card. We're using our main PC and we are recording on this PC and we've got the 9800X3D, 32GB of 6000MHz CL30 RAM but it's been overclocked to 6200CL28 and we have got the 5070 as well. So this PC will definitely get high FPS on both of them, but it'd be interesting to see if it actually affects the performance even on NVIDIA cards. So let's get on with the video. First, let's take a look at our FPS in a 1v1 map, just looking at the sky. So as you can see, we're getting slightly higher FPS on the old version of performance mode, but overall throughout the runs, you will see that it is very similar. When we head over to building, just building in the 1v1 map, the 1% lows and the 0.1% lows do kind of dip down and come back up. But at the end of the run, the average FPS as well as the 0.1% and 1% lows end up being roughly the same. So there's no clear winner really here, judging by this benchmark in Creative. But obviously Creative is only one part of the game, so we did have to go ahead and test it in game. And this is not using replay mode, this is actually in game in a custom match with me being the only player on the map. Now there's one thing you notice straight away is our 1% and 0.1% lows are much better at the start on the old performance mode. As the benchmark goes on you'll see that the 1 and 0.1% lows on the new DX12 performance mode do slightly increase but they do still stay slightly behind the old performance mode but our average FPS remains very similar on both of them so the 1 and 0.1% low differences could be down to run variance as well. Now heading over to the in-game replay so we are using the replay mode in Fortnite which will give us slightly higher FPS so don't look at the FPS and go why do I not get that much replay mode does exaggerate a bit but the actual margins will remain very similar or the same. But kicking things off with the in-game replay, we are getting slightly better average FPS with our 1% lows being very similar. Now and then there's occasional dips both on the old and new performance mode. And honestly, I don't think there's a major difference between the two. Now when I woke up and seen the news of the new performance mode, the first thing I actually thought of was this could be really really good for AMD cards. They always seem to struggle in performance mode. Not only do they get slightly worse average FPS, but they get much worse 1% and 0.1% lows, which leads to a lot of stuttering. And this is why a lot of AMD card users will actually switch to DX12 just to have a very consistent frame rate. So I do really think that this will benefit AMD card users the most. Maybe now you're going from not being able to play performance mode on your AMD GPU to actually being able to play it because there's no stutters, there's no performance issues whatsoever. It seems that AMD cards have issues with DX11 titles or performance mode on Fortnite which was using DX11. So I'll be interested to see this test done again with an AMD card and I think that's something I plan to do in the near future once I can pick up one of the newer cards. But let me know in the comments what you think. Are you on an AMD card or you're on Nvidia? And as of the season launch today, 
Have you noticed a drastic difference between the new and the old performance mode? Let me know in the comments. And if you're an AMD card user as well, definitely let me know what your experience is too. But anyway, my verdict is for an NVIDIA card, it doesn't seem to be much of a difference between the both. Sure, we could say that in some of the footage, the old one had better 1% lows or 0.1% lows. And that might be the case, but you've got to remember this DX12 performance mode has come out today. And there could be a lot of bugs or issues. And I'd imagine that in the next few months, this will actually improve. And it might be better to compare Len once the actual new rendering mode has kind of been out for a while and any issues have been fixed. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all soon.